Nostrovia. So I am drinking, first off, we were at Allegheny City over on the lovely north side of Pittsburgh, lovely little neighborhood. Also commonly known to as Deutschtown as well, which famously enough, I am drinking a Deutschtown brown. Uh, Brown ales, obviously, they have a distinct color with them that you're gonna get. But what intrigued me about this one is that uh, there's some chocolate that's added to it, which is a little different for a summertime beer, also for a brown ale as well. So I'm intrigued to try this. You can smell the chocolate right away. Definitely malty, very smooth the beginning that you take a sip of it and then the chocolate hits you on the back of your tongue. Normally you wouldn't think of this as a good summertime beer but it's actually very light in alcohol so it's not too strong necessarily because when you think of this it'll be like a porter or a stout or anything like that and obviously from the color you would assume that as well but brown nails there's at least a little bit of a bite to it that kind of wakes you up a little bit to make sure that you're aware that hey I'm here make sure you pay attention to me so it's kind of what I'm going with here so um I must say, this is a delightful taste that I was expecting. I, I wanted to have a chocolate beer when I came here, so I was expecting this anyway. So I must say, very, very good selection from Allegheny City. Cheers on that. What? I forget what I got. Uh, it was a wheat beer. Peach oh, wait. Uh, Star Lake Peach Wheat, which Star Lake Amphitheater, where we've all seen a concert or two, we got both of our beers based on the name. So, uh, wheat beer with uh, peach puree in it. It smells like a Turner's tea. Like, I'm smelling it. It, it just tastes, it smells like Turner's. It just smells like Turner's. So that's, I mean, let's be honest. It's a great way to start. Okay, so it's actually really interesting beer. So, um, a national wheat beer that people would know, Ho Garden, right? Right. So when you have a Ho Garden, there's this like weird bite at the front of it, right? Where it's just like, bang, beer in your mouth. And then it kind of like chills out after that. That's exactly what this is gonna do. I'd say, Greg, this is the least favorite beer I've had. Now, does that mean it's bad? Absolutely fucking not. Um, but it is very much a distinct flavor. And the peach puree is pretty strong. Um, it, it tastes like peach tea. If you were if you were buying a, a peach a peach tea from Turner's, that's kind of what it tastes like. I don't taste a lot of beer. That's why why I'm like hesitant on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it tastes, like, it tastes like peach tea. So if you're a big tea drinker, a peach tea drinker, you will love this. For me, I'm more of a beer guy. I'd like some more beer taste to it. And I know, I already drank a tea of crystal. So yeah, yeah. But, um, but yeah, you know, it's, um, it's nice, it's delightful, it's refreshing. I'm in a full body sweat at this point. I'm mm -hmm. not wearing underwear. So, sure. you know, it's really what it is. Shirt, um, shirt's unbuttoned, you got the man bun rocking. So yeah, you're in a I'm full- I'm almost thinking we go one less. All right. A little chest hair. A little chest hair. Uh, when you're drinking peach wheat, you gotta show a little chest hair. That's the rule. Uh, excuse me while I make sure my car is locked on that one, but uh, <laughs> thank you. Shout out to Ruby. Uh, Allegheny City, obviously for people who aren't aware of the North side, it's way more than just the North Shore area of basically ballparks, football fields, and drunk cowards. Obviously, if you go about a couple blocks up, you'll get to a really cool neighborhood where Allegheny City is located. Allegheny City, for a lot of people who don't know, used to be the area where a lot of the millionaires actually lived in the early days of Pittsburgh. It was actually its own separate city from Pittsburgh. Then a couple years after the fact, or actually I want to say maybe a hundred years after the fact, they decided to integrate into Pittsburgh, whereas the mansions that used to make up Allegheny City were donated to CCAC, for people who didn't know about that. Mm. Yeah, so Allegheny City Brewing is about a block up from East Ohio Street, which is the main business drag. Obviously, for anyone who's never been there, I cannot recommend it enough. Their beers definitely changed with the times because I was looking forward to something else, but I got something else instead, which was still delicious in my opinion. Uh, for anyone who hasn't been there, I'd highly recommend it. And now, 
we are going on to another main business drag in the north side called Western Avenue for some content. So stay tuned if you will. Allegheny City, big fans and friends of UniFitness. Shout out to that. Nostrovia!